As someone who suffers from the ravages of bipolar disorder, the confusion of autism, and the disability of physical pain, cannabis has been and remains a lifesaver. Without a doubt, I wouldn't be alive today or as healthy if it wasn't for if it wasn't for the cannabis plant. Um, now, every month, I consume between two to three ounces of cannabis every month. Boy, oh boy, do I ever! It's a wonderful thing, and that costs that costs me about between four hundred to five hundred dollars a month to purchase um, from a or to donate for from a medical cannabis dispensary. Um, but the benefits of cannabis are worth the cost. And just as a parallel, one of my, well, just one of the pharmaceutical medications would cost me, if I didn't have insurance, it would cost me $1,000 plus, closer to $1,200 plus a month for the 30 pills that I receive inside of the little dinky bottle. Uh, okay, let me repeat that. $1,000 a month for one medication that does one thing, and it does one thing very well, which I'm very thankful for. Um, but just that—that's incredible. Okay, you see what you see. My point. Um, now let's let's dive into how cannabis helps me with physical pain. Um, I wanted to do this video without my shirt on for a very particular reason. <clears throat> uh, before I get into that. I want to tell you a little bit of the backstory. Essentially, when I was 16 years old, so 14 years ago, I fell from a second story roof and landed on my forearms, dislocating both my shoulders in an instant. Uh, and ever since then, my right shoulder healed, but my left shoulder did not. And I have not had surgery on it, nor do I plan on it. But I don't know if you can tell, but my left shoulder is more withered. It's withered compared to my right shoulder and I'll just sit like this for a moment so you can see it's smaller than my right shoulder it's because it, it I'm disabled and I can't lift my arm above about here right about here going down to the elbow and then the elbow to the torso so otherwise it dislocates so I don't want that to happen and cannabis helps me with the constant pain uh, associated with a shoulder that is essentially uh, useless um, along, physically speaking, it helps me with this pain in particular, uh, which is more like a throbbing long-term ache uh, mixed with instances of it actually dislocating, which takes a couple of weeks for the, the mobility of any, any mobility at all to come back and the pain to really level out to where it normally is at its baseline. So cannabis helps me physically, let alone with all of my other bodily systems, which I will get to at the very end of this video. Now, cannabis also helps me with my bipolar disorder and my autism. Uh, as a little bit of backstory for this, since the age of 13 I have been dealing with mental health issues. Um, around the age of 21 I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder type 2, OCD, and ADD. Later I was diagnosed with autism, social phobia, PTSD, etc. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cornucopia of mental health issues. Uh, but um, I'm responsible for my mental health. I take very good care of myself. And one of the ways I do that is with cannabis. Uh, and here, here's the paragraph, here's the statement that I want to make about how it helps me with bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder, which is a mood disorder or mood challenge, and autism, which is a neurological or developmental challenge. Here's my statement. Before smoking marijuana, I feel as if I am walking in a sort of quicksand or dense fog. I don't know where I am at or where I am going, at least in terms of being able to hear my inner voice. But after smoking a bit of green, the skies part and I commune with the universe in technicolor. That's how stark the difference is between before and after. Um, cannabis truly is a gift from the stars. I am enabled. Before I get into that, I will say that cannabis, I have described marijuana as being my go juice in previous videos. It, it, active, it, it, it sort of synchronizes my brain and heart. Not only synchronizes them, but gets them moving in a way that's useful for me. Um, opens myself up. It allows me to heal. It allow, or it allows me to grow. 
and heal, but grow as well. It allows me to be me in terms of my disposition. And that is where I'll say my bodily systems are shamanic. My nervous system is that of a shaman, although I am not a shaman myself. It's that as, as I am who I am, labels aside, I feel that I turn on with altered states of consciousness. And with cannabis in particular, that altered state of consciousness is delivered via the endocannabinoid system. The endo, E-N-D-O, C-A-N-N-A-B-I-N-O-I-D, cannabinoid, endocannabinoid system, which is interlaced with multiple, numerous other bodily systems, including the immune, nervous, digestive, circulatory, and even skeletal, each being aroused or stimulated by the ingestion of phytocannabinoids, which are what you, which is what I do, or anyone who does consume cannabis is doing. You're ingesting, or you're intaking, in one form or another, plant-based cannabinoids, phytocannabinoids. Um, and the very essence, I feel, of what the endocannabinoid system does through the experience of the high is equalize. It creates community, it, it is, it's an attractive, it's a, it's a gathering, it, it doesn't mute, it doesn't burn, it doesn't dissipate, it doesn't push away, it grows, it attracts health, it attracts wellness. That's what I think the endocannabinoid system does when stimulated with phytocannabinoids. It, it stimulates um, cooperation and equalization. So at the end of the day, I depend on my, I depend on cannabis for maintaining my overall vulnerable health, for which I am very thankful. Uh, thank you, goddess of cannabis. Uh, my name is Brett. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for much, much more.